All right, guys, here we are at emulatorzone.com. The link to this page will be in the description below. And right down here, you will see 4DO. Go ahead and click on it, and your download should start. Once it's finished, let's go up to the top right, click on the three dots, select downloads. Here's our 4DO emulator, select show in folder. Now we can exit out of our browser, and let's just drag the 4DO zip file to the desktop. Exit out. Now we need to extract the file, but first let's create a new folder. Right click, new folder, and let's call it 4DO. And the reason I did this is because once we extract the zip file, it's gonna create multiple files, so we can keep it all in one place by moving the zip file into this folder. Open the folder. Now let's go ahead and extract this file. And if you need to download 7-Zip to extract your files, you will find the link for 7-Zip in the description below. Once you have 7-Zip, all you want to do is right click, go to 7-Zip, and extract here. And there we are, we have everything extracted. Now reopen your browser, and we're heading over to cdromance.com to download the BIOS file. And this page will be in the description below. Now if we scroll down, it'll be the first one, 3DO BIOS.zip. Go ahead and click on it, and your download should start. Once it's finished, go to the top right, click on the three dots, select downloads, show in folder. We can exit out of the browser, and now let's drag our 3DO BIOS file to the desktop. Now let's open that BIOS file, and you wanna click on 3DO BIOS, and this is the file we're looking for, 3DO, the bin file. And all you wanna do is drag this file into that 4DO folder we created earlier, and you're good to go. Exit out. Now we can go into the 4DO folder, and let's open this one right here, 4DO, this is the emulator. You're gonna see down here highlighted in blue, no BIOS ROM selected. You wanna go ahead and click on that. And now we need to locate that bin file that we stuck in the 4DO folder that's on the desktop. So desktop, 4DO, and there's the bin file. Open. And we're good to go. Now let's set up our controller. So let's go up to options, configure input, add set, set all. Now I'm gonna be using an Xbox One controller. I know that a wire controller works as well, as well as your keyboard. I'm not sure if a PS4 controller works. Now all we have to do is hit the button on your controller that's blinking right now on the 3DO controller. So just hit the up button, down button, left, right, And once you're finished, just click OK. Now we can go ahead and load up a game. So let's go up to File, Open CD Image Core File, and then locate wherever your games are stored on your computer. I'm going to select Gex, and the game should load up. Now, if you would like to go full screen, all you need to do is hold Alt and Enter. And you'll go into full screen. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.